Good morning children, I hope you're all doing okay. Just wanted to come on this morning and introduce your work for today. Um, so if you go onto the home learning timetable, you'll be able to access Tuesday's work. So the first thing we want you to have a look at in maths is right angles. So um, today you'll learn about what a right angle is. And if you click on the PowerPoint, you can work your way through that and that should make it clear for you and explain what you're looking for. Basically, a right angle is the corner of a square, the inside part of it, and it's sort of this shape here. So we want to be looking for anything that has a right angle in it like that. So a square has four right angles because it's that shape. So in each corner, you have the each right angle. Okay, um, then there's a worksheet for you to complete so you can demonstrate your understanding of right angles and you can identify them within different shapes. Um, and then finally, I thought you could have a little rummage around your house and try and find any objects that you can that have right angles within them. So for example, a book or maybe a CD case, something like that. So make a little list of that in your book for us. Then moving on to English. Today, we'll be writing our own Tanka poem. So we want to have a little look at something called onomatopoeia which we've not covered before, but when we tell you about it, you'll certainly have heard it maybe in um, poems before or even read in some stories. So have a little look. There's a video on there on BBC Bite Size. Have a little look at what onomatopoeia is and how you can use it um, to describe different settings. Then there's an extra challenge on there as well to see whether you can have a go at writing your own sentences, a few short sentences, um, using some onomatopoeia as well. Okay, and then finally, to finish the day, is RE. And today's topic in RE is all about reconciliation and forgiveness. Um, there's a little video on there about an angry bee, so have a little look at it. And when you're watching it, just have a little think about um, how difficult it is sometimes to forgive other people. Um, see if you can think about a time where you might have forgiven somebody. Um, or you might have found it hard to forgive somebody, and then vice versa. So when you, um, when another person has found it difficult to forgive you, have a little think about that. Keep that in your mind, and then there's a worksheet there for you to complete. So what I've done is I've found a few images that are th the theme of the image is forgiveness. So have a look at them. They're all quite different, um, and I'd just like you to have a little think about what those images, how they make you feel why you think the artist or the photographer has chosen those images to represent forgiveness and then have a go um, at coming up with your own piece of artwork so it doesn't have to be ready for a gallery whatever you feel about forgiveness try and get that down on paper um, and i can't wait to see them have a lovely day bye